Today we're going to be going over a couple different ways to program a quote-unquote 2D part in Mastercam 2017. And we actually machined this part and there was a sample at IMTS, if any of you were there, that we machined on our Haas VF2SS in Tallinn, Connecticut, right where the software is developed. We have about a 10 machine machining lab where we actually put into practice all the tool paths we're creating over the years. And we can link to this PDF in the video. There's a link to download the file and all that good stuff. So the first way we programmed it was using Mastercam Dynamic Mill, but in your traditional 2D sense. Because we have a lot of customers that'll say, you know, I get a lot of parts like this. I have a lot of pockets and features. And I might be looking for an easier way to program. And it's certainly, uh, you can step through and, you know, especially in 2017, you can go in and preview the geometry you pick and what you're able to avoid and things like that. And it does make it a lot easier to program. And the end result looks something like this. So, you know, we have it all roughed out. We don't have any stock to leave on the floors, but we do on the wall. So you see we have some finishing work left that we have to do. But remember that all the dynamic roughing strategies are just that. They're for roughing the part and then going back and cleaning up with a finish tool. So instead of doing all those, I think it was about, it was op eight through op 39. So 31 operations to get that complete. You know, we could probably pick more sections per tool path, but uh, it's kind of the standard way I would see someone program that using just the 2D software. Now, when we go into the 3D side of the software, so that's in your tool pass bar here and under 3D, there's a strategy called OptiRough. And think of OptiRough as it's best used as a rest mill operation. So you'll see here it says dynamic OptiRest. So what we first do is create a stock model of the material that we want to remove. And then we can go in and basically say, cut the entire thing. If I click on my geometry here and click show, I'm cutting the entire model, and that's really all I had to pick. And then in my tool pass here, I have my stock page, and I'm telling to compute the tool path based off of that stock model. So I essentially get all my half inch roughing done in the first pass. I create a second stock model where there's some additional material re remaining. There's some smaller pockets that the bigger tool couldn't fit into. And then I follow up with a the same tool path that has copied it down and used a quarter inch tool this time. Now, if we pull up the verify compare of this tool path, you'll notice it looks very similar to the one we just saw previously when it was programmed with the regular 2D tool paths. And I can put these side by side as well. Let me bring up the other one. And you'll see they, they look very similar. And that was achieved by only doing two operations. So someone who's getting parts like these can see the difference in programming time between the two. You know, we're looking at, you know, 30 minutes to maybe an hour programming it the first way and just minutes programming it with the OptiRough strategies. So I hope you guys learned a little bit about this, and we'd be happy to get more into detail if you give us a call or an email. And thanks for reading our email blast. Take care.